Good morning. All right, it's Monday morning. It's been a stressful morning already so far, but uh, hopefully we're going to get some corn planted today. Um, I just got some gas. I'm going to go try and get the uh, pump on the fertilizer tender started and get that pumped off so we can go get starter. Um, the, we got a little shot of rain, but it looks like ground's going to work. I see some guys out going. So <clears throat> we got to go get um, uh, that field worked. I couldn't get anybody to go work it yesterday. So we'll go get it. That 40 acre field worked. And I got a few things left to do on the planner. Um, I need to change out the gear and the transmission, fix one more fertilizer opener. And it should be pretty much ready. Hook up a couple more wires, and that'll be it. So. I'm going to stop talking and get to work. It's pretty windy out here, so hopefully this big fuzzy windscreen I got on this microphone is working and you're not hearing a bunch of wind noise. Um, so I can't get this over the winter. Apparently we developed a little crack in the fuel tank and I can't get it to start. It's not getting fuel. If I take the gas off and I just shove some right into the carburetor, then it'll fire for a second. So we're not getting fuel. I'm really debating if I should just if I should try and tear that carburetor. I put this carburetor on <clears throat> two years ago, I think. Um, it's just a I just ordered a cheap. It's a Chinese. It was like thirty dollars for that carburetor, and it ran good that season. The next year it'd usually take about two pulls to get it started and it didn't want to idle really really low um, but I'd forgot to clean it out over the winter and this year I don't know what's going on so uh, I mean there's nothing wrong with this engine I kinda hate to junk it just because but I don't know if I can find a gas tank and if it's worth my time to tear it apart for three hundred dollars for a new engine I might just go get one. Country traffic congestion. Sprayer waiting on the semi. Well, there's the new pump. I decided to just go ahead and get a new pump. Uh, two inch, 195 gallon a minute. It's not too bad. So hopefully this will last us. That old pump I think we've had on there probably, oh, I don't know, 10 years. So it's time. They don't typically last that long. I mean, it seems like on the farm. So, 300 uh, I think this was $330. That's not 
horrible. So hopefully it lasts us another 10 years. Now I just got to get the old pump off and get my two inch coupler fittings off and screw them into this one and then go hopefully the bolt holes mount up otherwise we'll have to drill new holes and get it mounted up there. Alright so we got Wayne here moving some dirt. We got the waterway here. The water's been coming down and when the creek gets too high um, this has been washing down through the field so he's gonna kind of push some dirt along the edge of that waterway and uh, make a high spot so we can try and divert the water down into the creek right here oh I'm zoomed in so into the creek right down here instead of washing through the field taking all the topsoil and cutting a big trench and leaving a whole big sandbox out in the field so that's what we're working on here um, he's got a hole to fill down there he's gonna push some dirt here and then fill in that hole down there and cut the bank down just a little bit okay this is the configuration I need the pump in the fittings got to go to the right I'm just recording this for myself so I remember when I put it back together got the fittings on put oil in it and go mount it try and start it for the first time Pretty cool bay and our co-op. I'm gonna go around this side and it's pretty neat looking. Got all their totes, a bunch of stainless steel tanks there. They're filling this truck right there. They have the office up there where they mix all the chemicals. Oh, there's some more. tanks there. Pretty neat. Pretty neat setup here. So it appears that the zinc that they use in my starter, uh, they don't have it here. So they had to somebody, send somebody to go get it. It was here. Somebody took it and now they need it. So I'm just waiting around for them to run and find the zinc and get back here so they can mix my starter. Guess while I wait, I'll eat my supper. I was going to eat it in the tractor, but might as well eat it now. Dang it, what am I going to do while I auto steer? I'll have to figure something out. Maybe I'll have to get snacks. Well, it looks like they found the zinc.
We just got filled up with starter and we're already unloading it. things kind of happen on a Monday. I really like this running gear so I think we're gonna take some measurements and see if we can find a tank to put back on that running gear and that's been a it's been a really nice good setup. I really like this tender so uh, it's just it's up there in age. I'm not really sure how old it is but apparently the poly's getting brittle and starting to crack so that's unfortunate. Um, I don't think anyone ran. There's a bunny. Little bunny. I don't think anything's ran into it or anything like that. So, um, I mean, those boards protect it pretty decent. So, I think it's just one of them things. Just old age. Does this rabbit see me? Oh, there he goes. All right, so there's the co-ops tender. So I guess we're gonna use that this spring. So I'm gonna go try to work some ground while there's still some day left. I don't know, the way this day's going, maybe I should just go home. But we'll try and get some ground worked. I won't get it all worked. There's not enough time today, but or at least I'd like to get some sleep tonight, so. It is just super dusty. I'm ready for this rain tomorrow. Can't even see back there, look. I can't see what's going on. No idea if I get plugged up. I'm really looking for a better solution for our residue problem. I don't know, I've, I've thought about trying VT, or I know some guys around here have gone to zero fall tillage and doing a high speed disc in the spring. And I kind of like that idea. Uh, we gotta do something to chop up this these corn stalks better. We do have chopping knife rolls on our head, but our head, uh, we can't run it real low, so we still end up with some tall stalks. So, that's what I've worked, and there's still lots of tall residue there. this Monday is over. What a day. So I knew this morning this wasn't going to be a great day. My boss was not very happy that I wanted to take the day off and go farming. And then I had customers calling me, wanting me to come help them get going. And then I had, uh, I got out to the farm late and had to buy a new pump for the tender trailer. And then, um, then I went to get starter. They didn't have the zinc. And then the, uh, the crack in the tank. So at least I got some um, ground worked. I'm not sure. I guess the co-op's just gonna let me use that tender for now. 
So, or maybe they'll charge me, I don't know. But I guess that's all the choice I got right now is to use it, so. Anyway, uh, that's enough rambling out of me. And uh, I'm going home, I'm gonna call it a day, go to bed. So, thanks everyone for watching. And thanks for joining me on my journey in my first year farming. So far it's been a doozy. Hopefully we'll get some corn planted soon. So, thanks.